Who knows who this? The first time she talked about getting married, we can. I had some serious doubts about that. In that relationship with her ex, she was manipulated. The day that I got out of prison, Ken texted my stepmom. And so I told Brian about it. I was yeah. open and I'm like, you know, he's sniffing around. I don't think that he has respect for my marriage. We're just hanging out as friends. That's all it is. And we have not had any intimacy. Y'all will see what really happened on Lifetime. Gypsy Rose Blanchard has turned her life upside down in less than 24 hours. She spent eight years in prison and came out with a husband, but she claims that her husband has been aggressive. He fights Gypsy and calls her name, so she ran away to her ex-fiance, Ken. Now they've got matching tattoos, they've been seen hanging out nonstop, and Gypsy is even getting plastic surgery to change up her look. This entire situation is so bad bizarre that we just need to get into it so let's get into it If you aren't subscribed to the Let's Get Into It podcast, then you're only getting half the tea. For longer videos, deep dives, and of course, more of me, subscribe to the Let's Get Into It podcast listed in the description below. Now, Gypsy Rose Blanchard, we all understand that you had a complicated situation growing up, but we all know you were raised better than this. I mean, Gypsy got out of prison after serving time for taking out her mother. And since then, it's been a manic love story where she went off with her husband, Ryan. They have been fighting. She's now separated from him. She's gone back to her ex. And there is so much to catch up on on Gypsy's love story. Now, remember, Ryan was by her side the entire time she did her press tour, promoted her documentary, and spoke about what she had learned while being in prison. Really, she leaned on Ryan during her campaign to prove to America that she had learned her lesson in prison and she deserved to be out. Reports say that sources with direct knowledge tell TMZ that Gypsy has been telling her family and friends that her estranged husband, Ryan Anderson, had become super argumentative post-prison release and was constantly making her feel like she couldn't do anything right. I mean, Gypsy Rose never had any independence to begin with, so I don't think it's the best idea to get out of prison and to be married with someone living under their roof, but she also was so desperate for love, so I understand why she wanted companionship. Either way, Gypsy Rose Blanchard reportedly locked herself in a bathroom in Lake Charles, Louisiana. She was frightened, trying to pull herself together as her husband, Ryan Anderson, banged on the door late at night, saying, let me in, let me in, he screamed to Gypsy. Gypsy was scared the tension could escalate as, I guess, Ryan Anderson allegedly pounded harder. Gypsy quickly called a relative to pick her up. She knew this was the end of their two-year marriage. Her friend said, he got in her face and he screamed. I want to note that this source here is her friend and tattoo artist, which I wonder if this is the same person who recently gave her and her ex-boyfriend a matching tattoo. Well, this friend slash tattoo artist said during the fight, Ryan yelled at Gypsy. She felt unsafe, so she called her lawyer. Quote, Gypsy said that she was afraid he was going to hit her. He didn't, but that happened in the past with her mother, so her first instinct was to tighten up and to be prepared. Now, I'm not going to jump to conclusions and say that Ryan was a bad guy, but I also would acknowledge that Gypsy clearly has some trauma from her past that it would make sense, you know, if little arguments, you know, triggered certain things. I mean, nonetheless, I don't think anyone should be banging on any door or yelling at anyone or getting in their face because that's not going to make you feel good. Often get wrong um, that my mother was just an evil person. Um, and then that's not the case. She suffered from mental illness. Um, so I don't think that she was ever purposely trying to be mean or hurt me. Um, I think it was maybe something that she just, it was out of her control. Um, you know, it is called a, a disease for a reason. It is called mental illness for a reason. Um, so, you know, I want to bring awareness to that. I think one is, you know, people call her the master manipulator. It wasn't that. It was the other way around in that, in that relationship with her ex. It was the other way around. She was manipulated. Now, Ryan Anderson could not be reached for an immediate comment, but Gypsy took her belongings and spent hours on a drive back to her home 
where her father and stepmother live. She's going to begin her new life again, but Ryan does have a statement for the general public. Ryan has actually released a statement on his Instagram. We're gonna cut up this Instagram video a little bit, but here is generally what he has to say about the general support he's receiving. Hey everybody, I just wanna say thank y'all for the support and the and uh, nice messages I've been getting from people. Uh, I'm at a friend's watching WrestleMania right now. It's great. I need to shave. But, um, you know, I just want to thank everybody for the support. It's been great. Uh, I'm just living my life, guys. Uh, Y'all will see what really happened on Lifetime. Uh, we were filming a lot. So, uh, stay tuned for that. And I just want to thank everybody for the support. Uh, if you support me, follow me. I will post more stuff eventually. Uh, I'm just... He's hanging in. I just want to say thank y'all to everybody and, you know, God bless. Okay, back to why these two broke up. Because supposedly Ryan is a jealous man. We're told that one of the major sticking points in Gypsy and Ryan's relationship was his apparent jealousy over her spending time with her dad. That's what sources say Gypsy has been telling people anyway. Instead of supporting her bond to her father, we're told that Gypsy feels like Ryan made her feel guilty about not spending that time with him exclusively. And I have to say, as someone who is now, you know, married to a a former convict I feel like you out of anyone should understand that she needs to have those basic family bonds so after eight years in prison and then so many more years before that where she was kept in isolation by her mother wouldn't you want her to have nothing more but a bond with her father for her to have some normalcy? Gypsy Rose Blanchard's husband, Ryan, has officially unfollowed all of Gypsy's family members on Instagram. After news of the separation broke, people went to Ryan's Instagram and were commenting, so he limited his comments. But he was still following Gypsy's half-sister, Mia, as well as Rod and Christy, Gypsy's dad and stepmom's Instagram. Now, he has unfollowed them. The source was quoted saying, but I'm glad Gypsy got out of the situation. She's such a good person. I'm glad she called somebody and got help that night. I mean, opposed to uh, taking out Ryan. Even though Ryan did look a lot like his mother, I hope he wasn't like as bad as she was. But, uh, quote, there were so many rumors about her out there. I had to finally speak up. I want people to know she didn't leave Ryan for Ken her ex-boyfriend she's been running around town with. She left him because she wasn't happy anymore. Gypsy's cousin Bobby said it wasn't a genuine relationship. Ryan reached out to Gypsy on a dare. He got in touch with Gypsy on a dare and she took the bait and it went from there, said Bobby. Now this friend slash tattoo artist has had a lot to say. They claim that they were around Ryan in those early days when they were filming the show and that Ryan was kissing Gypsy a lot and trying to capture all of their affection on film. And I guess this person believed that, that it just it came off disingenuous, that Ryan was trying to get that clout, those moments with Gypsy to solidify his place as her husband. That's what I'm looking forward to. And then we'll get in my car and drive home. And I actually plan to take off work for like two weeks, three weeks, just to get her fully adjusted. You know, we got things we got to do. We got to see a parole officer. We got to get her an ID, Louisiana ID. As we have discussed, Gypsy has been running around with Ken, and we'll talk a little bit more about that, but when reacting to it, Ryan Anderson was quoted saying, I'm not doing well with it. For me, it just came out of the blue. I had no idea she still had such strong feelings for him. Ooh, that's gotta hurt. Ryan also is insisting that he will be keeping their puppy, Pixie, whom they adopted together in January. Quote, I haven't spoken to her, so I don't know what's going on. I am at a loss. I'm not really doing well at all. Poor guy, he really, I mean, if he did care about her, which I feel like he did, he really did like uproot his life for her and now she's just gone talking to her ex that he had no idea she was probably in communication with. Gypsy Rose Blanchard's husband, Ryan Anderson, has officially spoken out since their separation and Gypsy being spotted out in public with ex-fiance Ken. The Daily Mail put out this article, Gypsy Rose Blanchard's estranged husband, Ryan Anderson, reveals he was blindsided by their split and had no clue she still had strong feelings for her ex-boyfriend. Speaking exclusively to DailyMail.com, Ryan Anderson confirmed 
confirms that he and Gypsy have separated over her continued relationship with her ex-fiance, Ken. Special needs teacher Anderson, 37, clutched Pixie, the cute little Shih Tzu pup that he and Blanchard, 32, adopted together in January as he told DailyMail.com that he was for sure keeping the dog. So let's talk a little bit about Ken and where he came from, because the headlines read that Gypsy Rose Blanchard spends time with Ken Erker after Ryan Scott Anderson split. Meet her ex-fiance. In the days that followed, Gypsy was spotted out with Ken and the two got matching tattoos. Ken learned of Gypsy's story after the Mommy Dead and Dearest documentary was released in 2017, so he sent her a letter in prison. They got engaged in 2018, but they split while she was still behind bars. Now, there have been a lot of rumors about Ken and that Ken possibly has a criminal record of his own. I don't know what Gypsy is up to, but she has been going on live on social media, speaking to, you know, crime investigator, you know, commentators and people like this, trying to clear her name and Ken's name. And it seems like she's really in defensive mode, probably after leaving her husband and now running off with her ex. And so apparently someone had reported to my PO that Ken is a felon. And everybody knows oh that on parole, you can't hang out with other convicted felons. So I've already told them that he's not. I've already is wrong. He doesn't have a criminal record, never been in prison. Nope. Nope. He's not a felon. No so <laughs> I'm not I, I clarified that yesterday. I actually clarified that for you. I told them that you did not have a felony record. I don't know. I don't know what, because a lot of people were saying that yesterday. And a lot of people got misinformation and thought that y'all met and he was in prison. Not that y'all met while you were in prison. And I was like, no, 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 no. <laughs> For the record, that report was... Yes, okay. Well, not several mugshots. I've got one. I've been to jail one time for one night for driving on a suspended license back in 2014. I told y'all it was nothing so, but traffic uh, issues. <laughs> so it looks like her and Ken are bonding, and she received a tattoo of an unalome, which I guess is like maybe a girl deer or something. Actually, no, it's a, it's a Buddhist symbol for a path to enlightenment and self-awareness. Oh, okay. I thought it was a deer. Wait, okay. So wait, that's not, I guess that's a wolf. But that's not a deer. <laughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, yeah, I don't know why I thought deer. I guess it's giving husky or dog. But wow, look at her getting tattoos with her man. So Lana Del Rey coded. She's such a hopeless romantic. I love it. Of your tattoos. Oh, yes. Let's see them in person. Because they were saying they don't look new. There you go. They're brand new. They're fresh. They're still red. Yeah, they're still, they're still healing. <laughs> okay, so, well, there you saw it. What? It, oh, wait, yeah. Is it a heart? Is it supposed to be a heart when you put them together? No. Uh, it's okay. not. Okay. It's, just it's, like, just... it's a... Like, it's just a husky. It, that's all that it is. It's an outline. So, like, we didn't want to get, like, the full detail because that's actually really painful. Yeah. So, we just kind of wanted the outline of a husky. And I was, like, scrolling for something that, like, <laughs> I thought would be pretty. Wait, this is so random. The tattoo artist who speaks a lot, ma'am, speaks a lot. I don't really like her because she's over here, like, saying she's her friend. Really, I think she sat down with her for one hour, got the tea, and then ran to the press to tell them. But, um... When the parent places their arms together, the dog face each other. For them, it was even more than their strong bond. It was very personal, says Miss Talks A Lot tattoo artist. It was something that brought them together. Ken has a husky, and Gypsy loves them and wants one. Girl, you just got Pixie, your cute little dog that you left back with your ex-husband. You are not allowed to... No, I, this is where I draw the line, Gypsy. I wanted you to have everything and more after getting out of prison, but now, nope, you can't get another dog. If you can't raise one and keep one, you're not getting another one, just throwing it away. Now remember, both Gypsy and Ken were engaged in the past. They briefly split up in August 2019. They then reunited and then split up for good afterwards. Now, because Gypsy and Ken have had their run at it before in the past, it does make me concerned that they um, will have issues again. But you must keep in mind that Gypsy was also in prison when they were 
uh, engaged. So possibly being out now and being free will allow her and Ken the ability to really fall in love. Even though I feel like Gypsy needs to go home and spend some time with her parents because now she's over here on social media answering questions like where's the dog cat and um it's just it's not going to leave people feeling great about her they want to know where your puppy is for god's sake please answer that i i he's uh she is with ryan i gave her to ryan like i didn't want to uproot her from everything that she knows so she loved ryan more so i let him keep the puppy there you go there you go that's where the puppy is i swear if that that is probably one of the most questions that i had where they were more worried about that puppy than they were anything yeah she's perfectly fine with ryan so now that gypsy packed up her stuff left her doggy behind and her ex-husband she's been out on the town with ken getting paparazzi pictured everywhere she goes like it's giving very much lindsay lohan it girl everyone's following gypsy's every move like even when i saw trisha talking about you know gypsy rolling with pete davidson i was i wasn't surprised i mean it seems like gypsy pulls whoever she wants i'm sure if she went back to ryan's right now knocking on the door ready to come back home he would let her in right away because there's something about her that keeps these men coming back for more and maybe this is kind of like her college era i mean keep in mind she never really had high school she never really had public school friends going out she's in her 30s this might be her first smoke i'm guessing it's not because i think they probably smoke a lot in prison but she just wants to let her hair down get a spray tan you know some some highlights wear her sketchers and smoke a cigarette with her man i mean that's what that's where gypsy's head is at right now and i hope lifetime is filming every moment of it i love uh -huh. i'm just clout chasing lol <laughs> whatever <laughs> i don't go to work every day pay my bills pay my rent like i'm not looking for any kind of attention or clout or fame or I, again if you, you can choose to believe me or not it's up to you but i don't get paid for anything i did a, i did an interview which you'll see on her lifetime show that comes out um in the summer and no money like, they were asking if you were gonna if you were gonna be included in the lifetime so there's your answer i did idea yeah, i did interview with them but um I, I don't think I signed any kind of NDA, so I don't think I'm not allowed to say that, so that's fine. Yeah, yeah. If I did, oops, but they didn't pay me anything, so. Right. Now, even though we see Ken with his arm around Gypsy and we see her smoking those cigarettes and living her Lana Del Rey dreams out, she's maintaining that they are just friends and probably trying to, you know, ease how the public sees her and her behavior after leaving her man who she had really, I mean, only a few months with. We're just hanging out as friends. That's all it is. Just like I said, do whatever you're going to do. You both adults. Okay. All right. All Thank right. you. Addressing the rumors that she's pregnant, <laughs> Gypsy Rose replied saying, no, I am on birth control. Like, what the hell? Actually, Ken said playfully that they had not had any intimacy. They were just hanging out, which I'm like, mm, boys don't just hang out with Gypsy Rose Blanchard. Men don't just hang out with Gypsy Rose Blanchard. There's no hanging out. <laughs> I feel like she's got something about her that, you know, brings it out of them. She's not pregnant for everybody who keeps asking. No, I'm, I'm on she's birth control. She's not pregnant. Like, what the hell? And we have not had any intimacy we're okay, just hanging out the, we're just total friends all the time. he's already said what he does for work he works at a bar will, he doesn't have a girlfriend he, he broke up with his girlfriend now bobby gypsy's cousin has a lot to say saying that gypsy realizes that ryan isn't great and she gets out of it she is obviously in love with the first guy ken you know that's who she's been hanging out with she obviously loves him but regardless of what the future holds with gypsy's love life her tattoo friend said that she's looking for her happily ever after ken makes her feel happy right now even if they are just friends but it's interesting to see that gypsy's family is now stepping out and saying that maybe ken would be a good guy because when they spoke about him in the past they didn't really paint him out to be in the best picture i mean he didn't really seem like he genuinely cared for her and would be her ride or die i, I feel like the first time she talked about getting married with uh ken. with ken 
I had some serious doubts about that. He was a nice guy and all, but I don't know if he was the, right, be the best fit for her. I met Ryan and I feel much more confident about Ryan's demeanor and his, 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 uh, his objectives. He's goal oriented and I think his intentions are, are sincere. I think he loves her so. From the day that I got out of prison, Ken texted my stepmom. Oh, so now he wants to come around. Yeah. And so I told Ryan about it. I was yeah. open and I'm like, you know, he's sniffing around. I don't think that he has respect for my marriage. Well, he doesn't like me because I've called him names. names. Like I have, like, you know, he's known <laughs> as something that to yeah. me. Oh, why does this make me feel bad for Mr. Ryan Anderson? Poor Ryan. The parents were all team Ryan until they switched up as fast as Gypsy did. But I do want to talk a little bit about Ken because Ken's own mother has put out a statement saying that no, they are not in fact rekindling a romance. She says for Gypsy and Ken to potentially rekindle anything romantic, she would need to be officially divorced from Ryan and close that chapter of her life. Ken's mother said they're very cool after Ken is now just being supportive as a friend to Gypsy through her divorce. It's no secret that Ryan doesn't like Ken as he spoke about this on the Vile Files podcast interview. Ryan said that Ken still had a lot of Gypsy's things that she sent to his house while she was incarcerated and that rather than just mailing them to Gypsy, Ken wanted Gypsy to come get these items. Now, shortly before Gypsy deleted her TikTok account or went private, she too was following Ken on TikTok. Now that Gypsy Rose is back in the press, people are just running around with rumors, and there's some that are and some that aren't. One thing that is a rumor is that Gypsy Rose is not on only You gross people. I swear, what is it about? It's like the Pete Davidson effect. Like, they would be perfect for each other. Like, Gypsy's got, like, that Ariana Grande thing going. Like, where uh, it's just like, if she had an OF, it would be sold out in minutes because people just, like, love her. I don't know. Like, I... I, I I guess she's attractive. I didn't realize like it was like that, you know. <laughs> I do not have an only whatever is going around with only f that's not me. I would never do that. Yeah, um okay. somebody on Reddit joined it. Somebody yeah, like, in like, in Reddit joined it to see and what they did is somebody went on there and verified an account with another name and then changed it to your name. Oh wow. Now this is what I can't get over. The fact that Gypsy Rose Blanchard has a new nose. Wow, she posted a picture, she got a nose job, which I, you know, I would have been scared of surgery after all of that, but like if she wanted to get her nose done, I got I got my nose done like 10 years ago and I don't regret it at all. So go ahead and do your thing, Gypsy. Gypsy Rose Blanchard has officially changed her look. She underwent plastic surgery on Friday and we have the first pictures. Wow, she went under plastic surgery yesterday. I'm filming this Saturday night, but photos post procedures show Gypsy hanging out at home with bandages wrapping up her new nose. Sources with direct knowledge tell TMZ that Gypsy went under a combination of rhinoplasty and septoplasty which, oh, okay, if it's septoplasty, it's probably covered by insurance, which means that if you have a septoplasty, they might as well do a rhinoplasty at the same time because they're already, you know, going to be in that area working on that feature. So, hmm, I'm excited for her. Our sources say that Gypsy paid about $5,000 for the procedure and she doesn't have any plans to go under any cosmetic surgeries anytime soon. Um, under for more cosmetic surgeries anytime soon. Can you imagine if she got a BBL at the same time? Gypsy said she's going through a personal transformation and part of that metamorphosis is physical. While adding fans can see her medical journey on Gypsy Rose Life After Lockup this summer. Yes, go ahead and promote it. Although Gypsy did have a successful surgery on Saturday, she told people that she can't sleep. She's going in and out of sleep. She's having a lot of pressure in her face and she can't breathe through her nose. Which, welcome to having a rhinoplasty septoplasty. That's what's going to happen. She'll be getting her bandages off in the next four or five days. And her friend, this again, tattoo artist who talks a lot in the streets, starting to make me mad now, said that she's a bit nervous, but she's happy she's going to be done with it. The main thing is that she wants a more feminine looking nose. So she just wants a fix up and to give it a more feminine look. Okay, go ahead, Gypsy. Gypsy Rose Blanchard, the woman that you are. Dumping your husband, leaving the dog with him, getting back with your ex, getting tattoos with your ex, having a Lana Del Rey moment with your ex, who knows who this. She's had a busy week, you guys. 
So really, Gypsy is living out everyone's dream. She is out here doing whatever she wants, when she wants to do it. And we can't stop watching. We really can't. Whew, something about it's weird, right? Something about it's really, really weird. That's why I was like, I need to talk about it. Like, there's, we have to talk about it. We have to. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in a new one soon. Bye, guys.